Yo, good morning. I saw this uh, this video, this summer, this one that was so good. I just want to share Transformation Church. Check them out on uh, YouTube if you haven't had a chance. And it's talking about questions. You know, we ask ourselves questions all the time. And elevating your questions, raising the questions that you ask yourself up. And I want to give a perfect example of this. I always like to do this as a part of my life. Everyone knows my wife. She, her favorite car in the world is a Jeep Wrangler. She wanted to get a Jeep. And we happened to find one we was riding by. And I remember we would ride by a Jeep dealership on the way home all the time and she would always say oh man i'm gonna put this on my jeep when i get it i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna get my whole my whole rear the, the spare tire with, with a with my picture all over when i get my jeep and we happened to see this jeep that was on a bmw lot wasn't supposed to be there and somebody had just traded in and she was like let's go stop right now and we went out there, we looked at it, we got the price we started talking about it and within a week you know we was trying to make a decision where we're gonna get it or not and i remember she just slowly started talking about, yeah, when I get my Jeep, I'm going to go ahead and get the tires ready, get big tires on it, get everything on it. When I get that Jeep, it's green, right? Yeah, it's green. So I'm going to get some 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 things to match on the inside. It has the leather seats. Oh, yeah, it has the orange trim I'm going to get. She's already started putting together her whole life inside of the Jeep. I say this to say what Transformation Church said this morning. It was very important. He was talking about David when David went to go fight Goliath. His whole deal was to go check on his brothers, bring them some food, and he was going to just back out that's what he wanted to do for his father when he got there the israelites were looking at david and they was like uh looking at the goliath and they was like what are we going to do with him we can't defeat him they were asking themselves the feeding questions and questions out of fear and not questions of victory when david started asking his questions they was like well what do we get if we um, defeat Goliath? What, what would you get? You get to live in the palace. You get a wife. You, your, your family never pay taxes again. He started making plans and victory. I want to tell you, man, all oh, that hit me so much. I know it may be just a word for me today, but I want it to be for you as well. Hopefully you get it. Ask questions of victory because we do it in everyday life. I know I do it. When the bills come up or obstacles come my way, do you ask yourself, how am I going to defeat this? What, what am I really supposed to do? Or do you ask yourself, like, when I get done with this obstacle, this is what's on the other side of it. You know, when I get past this this thing at the job, this is the promotion that's going to come after that. When I get past this thing at school and I graduate and I finish this class, this is the type of life I'm going to have when I finish that. When me and my wife get past this obstacle and we get closer, we get where we're supposed to be, this is that great marriage that we're going to have after that. Are you planning for the defeat or are you planning for the victory? Because what you ask yourself starts to tone up how your psyche and mindset is going to move. So if you tell yourself in victory already, I've defeated this, I've won this, I'm moving forward. What am I going to do when I get this because it's already mine, then you're there. And I believe that God put the obstacles there for you to train your mind to go into victory that he has already planned for you. The fight is fixed. Your fight is fixed. There is nothing that you cannot accomplish if you stick to it and do it over and over and over again. And let me tell you, you will suck at first. But if you keep pushing, you'll get better. And it's all about the questions you ask yourself. And for what I'm going to do today, and I challenge anybody to do, in every little decision you make today, think about the question you ask yourself about it before you start. And start in a place of victory. I believe it would change your life. And check out Transformation Church. That guy is amazing. He's doing his thing on YouTube. You got to check him out. It was a great message. So I just want to share that with you. Upgrade your questions today. Questions of victory, not questions of defeat. Y'all be blessed.